Um, so they're asking us to graph y equals 2 log, what was the base? There's base 5 of x. OK. And then they really want you, oh, they're just saying to find the domain range, right? So really actually knowing what the graph is is really not that important, right? So if you guys remember, when we looked at this graph, um, we looked at this graph. This actually did not, neither did these affect our um, transformations at all. They're not shifting your graph left or right or up or down at all. All these did, um, the graph still crosses at 1, 0, and it just looks like this. And you don't even need to have it perfectly correct. You don't even need to have the vertical stretch or compression or anything else correct. Um, we know that here, this 2 is going to vertically stretch it, but this 5 actually makes it sharper turn. Okay, So they're actually kind of counterbalancing each other. But in reality, they're not even asking for the graph. I'm just using the graph so I can visualize what the domain range is. But you guys notice, here's what the original parent graph would look like, y equals you know, log of x. There's no transformations, right? So remember, this graph has that asymptote, meaning this graph approaches 0. It does not cross 0. So the domain is basically asking us, how far left does this graph go to how far to the right? So how far left does this graph go? How far to the left? Well, yeah, but it keeps on going down. How far to the left is it going to go? Zero. zero. Is it going to ever go to the other side of zero? No. no. Does it actually get on zero? No. no. Negative infinity. Um, and then how far to the right does it go? I'm sorry. Zero, right? And then your range. Your range is negative infinity. Positive infinity. Okay. Now the only thing I want you guys to understand for the other